What's up guys, in this episode we're going to go over the USPS temporary price increase for the holidays in 2020. So gently caress the like button and consider subscribing with that notification bell. I'm also going to give you guys six tips to actually lower your shipping bill. So let's get into it. The post office is increasing its rates because of the pandemic, record breaking shipping volumes, and Congress not helping them out. So they're going to raise first class mail by 25 cents per package, that's stuff under one pound, priority mail by 40 cents, parcel select by 40 cents, and priority mail express by a dollar. So tip number one is try to make sure your packages are under one pound. This makes it first class mail and it's still gonna ship for only 25 cents more. Remember, this is a temporary increase and it applies to everyone. So if you can ship for first class mail, now's a great time to make sure it stays under one pound with either a lighter poly mailer or maybe a lighter box to make sure it's under 15.9. Number two, learn about cubic shipping. So you can just Google cubic shipping, and five rates will come up, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. Make sure you understand the exact dimensions that those five fall under, and being able to capitalize on that really helps you because there can be some really heavy items that take up a small amount of footprint that can actually ship for much cheaper than if you ship the just regular priority or parcel select. Number three, use an envelope instead of a box. This is gonna make a big difference. I have every single size poly mailer available to me from six by nine all the way up to 15 by 18. So poly mailers only weigh a fraction of an ounce compared to up to half a pound for a box. Tip number four is use a thank you card that asks people to reach out to you if they have a question or concern. This has actually reduced my return rate by almost 1%, just having this simple thank you card in here because people will reach out if they have a problem. And working it out is a lot cheaper than getting the return having to pay for return shipping. Number five is using a thermal printer. This has been really useful for me because I no longer pay for ink. It's just these labels and the printer. I recommend Rolo over Dymo. They're both great, but Rolo jams a lot less. Tip number six is to ship direct instead of using the global shipping program or any of the other shipping programs through eBay. If you ship direct, you're gonna save your customer sometimes between five and $20 per shipment. I use Pirate Ship for international shipping and cubic shipping. The rest of the labels actually print directly on eBay. But if you offer direct to customer shipping, you're gonna save your customers a lot of money. I would say about 12% of my sales are international. So get more sales and you actually can earn a little bit more money. I charge $20 for first class international, but it's only about 12 to $15. So I make a good chunk of profit on international shipping. That's still cheaper than the global shipping program generally. Guys, we are part of a industry where the postal rates increase every six months or so. So just write that into your business plan. You have to get better at sourcing. You have to get better at processes. You have to be a little bit larger just to make the same amount of money every year. Over time, this is not going to be a business for the week. Right now, lots of people are jumping in because they're trying to earn quick money and they're quickly going to fizzle out because most people who survive in this business are a little bit larger to absorb all these changes. These happen so often that I don't even... I don't even lose. I just want to leave with a little piece of encouragement for people who are just getting started or people who have been doing it for a while. Just remember, every single year, you're going to have to do a little bit more effort just to make the same amount of money. But what that's doing is creating a barrier of entry for the people who are just starting. So remember, the sooner you get into e-commerce, the more you can learn about all these changes and the bigger you can become so that you can absorb all these little changes. Everything is moving towards e-commerce right now. I think less than a third of business is done online. So we're still in the very beginning of this. So just hang in there. Remember, the people who have established businesses and systems are going to win in the end. So until next time, guys, make progress daily. Every episode of mine is sponsored by my reseller field guide. It's a course on how to make $1,000 a week on eBay. You can buy it in the description below, below with code YouTube for $35. Bucks. really helps me continue to make videos like this. Until next time, take care, guys.